first installing Cavern ARAP on premises, you need to download the OVA file. You can get the OVA file by going to the Cavern Help Center at support.cavern.com, logging in, and then going to Cavern ARAP New Installation Downloads OVA. Within here, you will find the latest OVA file to download. Click on the link to download that OVA file. Once you have the file downloaded, go into your vSphere client and deploy your OVF template. Once you've located your OVA template, browse, locate it, click Next, Next, give it a unique name. So for this, I'm just going to call it Cavern ARAP. Choose where you're going to install this. As far as the storage goes, you can choose thin provisioning. Thin provisioning allows the storage to grow as needed instead of allocating the space all at once. Choose the correct network that you need to deploy this on. Now make sure that you deploy this on a network that has DHCP enabled so that you can have it automatically assign that IP address. Once you have the IP address assigned by DHCP, you can go to the web interface and follow the instructional video to be able to change the IP address within that interface. Once you change that IP address within the interface, then you can move the virtual machine to another network that does not have DHCP enabled. Click Next. Power on after deployment. Now that the OVA template has been deployed, give it time to power on and run some initial setup within the virtual machine. This may take a few minutes before you can access the web interface. To find out the IP address of the web interface, open up the console of the virtual machine and it will be displayed as soon as the operating system is booted up. As we can see here, we have the IP address. Now if you're using Virtual Center and you're using the web client, you may not have access to the vSphere client. You can still deploy the OVA file this way. Right click on your data center, deploy OVF template, and it's very similar to the vSphere client. Browse for your file, click next. You're going to review the details, give it that unique name. Choose where you're going to deploy the virtual machine to. Choose what host it's going to be deployed on. This is where you can choose thin provisioning for your storage. This is where you're going to set your network up. The same concept goes as far as choosing a network with DHCP enabled. And then power on after deployment. Now within the vSphere web client you will see the initialization up here in the top right. Now I'm going to go back to my other console to be able to view the status here. So we can see that the operating system is loaded up. I have an IP address of .212. So I can come in here. Now as I mentioned, it may take a few minutes. It is normal to see a certificate error when logging into Cavern ARAP. This is not to worry. This is because Cavern ARAP is using a self-signed certificate. Now, to be able to use Cavern ARAP, you need to add a license file. Browse for the license file. Choose save, and then you'll be prompted to log in. The first time you log into Cavern ARAP, you will have to log in with the Super Admin account. The Super Admin account's default password is Cavern All Over. Once you log in, you will be required to change that password. Once you've changed that password, you need to create a user to be able to utilize the Cavern ARAP. And then the role is going to be Administrator. Once you've created that new user, you can go ahead and log out, and then log in. 